on for a minute now. I'm back with the jump off. Goons in the club, case I can jump off. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I uploaded anything, be it makeup or somewhere I'm talking or shit. It's just been forever. And I missed you guys. I missed everything. So I am back. And I felt like what better time to do a makeup tutorial than Christmas time, holiday time, because bitches with big lips love to slap some red on. So we're going to be doing a holiday classic kind of um, makeup look that's going to, you know what I'm saying, match these nails or whatever. Um, so stay tuned. Okay, so... Um, I already off camera primed my eyes and did my brows or whatever because I just want to get that out the way. I didn't want to give y'all like a fucking 45, 60 minute tutorial or whatever. So I decided to cut a little bit of the shit out that you didn't need. Um, I do have an updated eyebrow tutorial that's similar to what I do with my brows or whatever. I change so much how I do my brows for some reason. You know, my brows kind of just go with the times, how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? It could be depressed brows. It could be happy brows. It could be hairy. It could be, you know, it could be slim thick, you know, whatever, however I'm feeling. So right now, this is what the brows are given. I do need to get them threaded, but I have not been able to leave the house. We'll talk about that in a whole nother video. But anyway, so I primed it, got all of that ready and good to go. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow. Okay, so this is just the same raggedy, regular, old Degla Schmegla palette that I use. I created it at MAC, but it's like, um, it's like a warm brown color. I always like to put this in my crease area. It's a warm brown color, like I said, and I'm just taking this brush and I'm just going to do some nice little circular motion in my crease. I'm going for like a neutral kind of look for the eyeshadows. I'm debating on if I want to kind of warm it up a little bit more. I think I might. I think I'm going to go into Juvia's Place palette and hit up Homegirl up here at the top. See what she talking about or whatever. See what she got going on. Okay, warm. Okay, when it's cold outside. All right, I like the warmth that this is giving. Because I do want to look like I got a little something on my eyes, but you know, not, not intense. And the only issue that I have with my eyes is that I don't have a lot of space between my brows and my um, crease. So, you know, it's not a lot to work with. So I don't, that's why I don't do a lot of cut creases and shit like that because it's just, it's a waste of my time, it's a waste of your time, it's a waste of everybody's time. So now what I'm gonna do is kind of just like sweep a color over my eyes. This is like a real quick one, two shkadoo type of deal. So I think I'm gonna go in my tart and bloom tart lit and bloom palette and i'm gonna go for sister girl right here and see what she has to say to me let's see mm -hmm. okay so this is good for one or two reasons or whatever. This is good um, because like for a look like this, precision is not necessarily of importance when it comes to eyeshadow. Like, of course you don't want it to look like third grade art, but at the same time, you know, this is not like a cut crease. Like, you know what I mean? Like this is, this is just something quick. And if you're like a new person in makeup, that was a two second little move right there. You don't gotta be skilled to do this. And it just saves time. 
Because sometimes when I'm going to work, I just don't be on all of that. Okay, so those are my eyes. What I'm going to do now is line them. It's nothing like testing your precision by seeing if you can line your eyelid with one hand. If you see me not looking directly into the camera, I am not. I'm looking into a mirror that you may or may not be able to see. Because, baby, this takes talent, okay? This is years of working at MAG. This is years of practice. I remember the first time I ever put on mascara, I was in the eighth grade. And I went to an all Spanish school. And like wearing makeup was like nothing. Like they had been wearing makeup since they was like seven. I had to convince my mama. And when I tell you I was in that mirror for 30 minutes trying to put eyeliner on and all it would do is get in my eyes. I always end up looking like a raccoon. I used to have to use like a Q-tip or something to like go to like clean it up and like make it more sharp. Like it was just a catastrophe. I never would have thought that girl would have become a makeup artist. Okay, I'm gonna have to Okay, so you guys kind of get the gist of what's happening here. I'm going to have to like look down and hold the thing because I, I, I can't live with this this level of non-precision. It's just it's not who I am as a person. Hold on. Okay. Y'all see these? Do you see them? I mean, honestly, there's no way you couldn't. I was gifted these bat wings um, around my birthday. And so, yeah, these are, I said, I, you know, see what I could do with them. I'm going to try to use them for this because I'm my wig has bangs. So, you know, this might be a little cute, you know, overlook to, to kill the bangs. Because, you know, bangs kind of take attention away. You know, they kind of mute the face out sometimes. So. You know, this might do the trick. This might be this might be okay. If it's not, I'm definitely gonna run to, you know, what I know because I don't believe in chasing waterfalls. I definitely believe you should stick to rivers and the lakes that you are used to when it comes to a lot of things. So we're gonna try and we're gonna see what we can do with these. Okay, so I got my bat wings attached. Um, I did those off camera. What I'm gonna do now is underpaint. Oh, okay, okay, sis wanna pull up. No, ma'am. I do got some backup lashes just in case, you know, I get to the end and I am mortified. I remember I used to say, I remember when these first came out and it was like, oh my God, 25 mm. And it was like, you wanted them. I even sold some, like you wanted them because it was like the new craze and it looked so cool on some people. But then like once that kind of died down and I'm trying to like go to my son's school and stuff and you know, show up for the PTA stuff and I'm giving every piece of stripper and every piece of like bartender, I just wasn't a fan of that. And I don't even have nothing against those lifestyles or nothing like that. But it's just like, I'm not trying to look like I'm starting a musical, you know, when I'm just doing everyday regular shit. Like, 
I just believe that like some makeup has a time and a place. Like some people are just glam, glam girls. And that's just, you know, everywhere they go, they want seven pounds of makeup, lashes and the whole nine. Now I do believe in a lash for every occasion, but I don't need my eyelashes slapping up against my eyebrows. So I said, you know, for this YouTube moment, for this holiday, maybe this will be good and it'll jizz up this look. You know, some cute. But um, just for my regular degular life, I'm not like a fan. I'm gonna do my contour. This is the Anastasia Stick Foundations. This is in the shade Ebony. What I'm going to do now is take this um, Dior 24-Hour Radiant Perfection. This is a 5N shade. I'm just going to put it on this, whatever it's called. And I'm going to take this airbrush thinner and like basically add a little bit of that to kind of thin it out to give it more like a thinner, watery consistency. Just gonna mix that up. I'm gonna use a brush that looks like this. And I'm gonna lightly, like with this end of the brush, just kinda blend everything out. And it's kinda just like a sweep in kind of motion that you're doing. Oh, might want to take this off. These are my, um, I was born by the river braids. I knew I was wearing a wig, so I braided it like days before. And the braids are terrible, but I'm just more impressed with the fact that I can braid my hair now. been natural for six months at this point and this process to me always looks bizarre beforehand but as you keep doing it you see it like kind of start to come together. And it all kind of just mixes together to create like a really nice natural look. Even though you would think the opposite because it's like you don't put on 16 layers of makeup at this point. And then the places like this, like under the eye, I'll like go in and like blend it out with my beauty blender. Now this is my, I bought this Huda Beauty. I think I'm saying it right. I could not be, oh well. I don't like nobody paying me. So I bought this, um, has a pretty cool smell. I wanted something that was comparable to banana, then not banana powder. So my only issue with this is I feel like I'm always wasting, like look at that. Like I just feel like I'm always wasting it. And I cannot create or 
come up with a more effective way of getting the product out without it just, you know, hitting the airways. So if anybody knows something, let me know. Um, so yeah, when I went into Sephora, I was looking for something like banana powder. I don't like the Laura Mercier anymore because I feel like it just, I don't know, it just feels drying to me. Like I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm just, I'm on the table. Like I feel like I'm on... the table getting ready to be embalmed for my funeral. I don't know. I don't like that. And I have oily skin. Like I'm T I'm a T zone early kind or oh early. I'm a T zone oily kind of girl. But even still like so I've been trying this one out just to see, you know, how I'm feeling about it. So far it's okay. I probably still go back to the banana powder because it's what I'm used to. And if it ain't broke, don't break it. One thing I can say, like I spoke about the smell of it before, but like I really, really do like the smell of this. Like it's, it got a real expansive smell. Like it gives me high end perfume, which I like. So, if you're into like scents, like, um, and it's not overpowering, like, um, Airspun, the one that smells like your grandma, that's a real overpowering, um, powder smell. And I'm not, I, I don't like, like, I literally have it in the bathroom and I just keep it for like an emergency and I can smell it. Like when I'm just in my bedroom, like I'm not into that. Like that, I'm not. This is um, what is it? This is Fever Blush by Mac that I'm putting on. And what it does, I hate the cleanup. For some reason that only Jesus himself knows, I cannot find my Fenty bronzer. And it's concerning. Because this shit is not cheap. Like, it's not cheap. Like, where is it? Like, and it's like, I know it's not like a makeup fairy that's like walking around high my shit. But at the same time, is it though? Is it? Um, because I really want to glow a little bit more you know what i'm saying like i kind of want to contour a little more and um this anastasia like she's straight or whatever but she just she's not giving me the feels you know that i want like i could tolerate her i'm not mad at her she didn't like upset me but it's you know what i mean anywho is where we are so what i'm going to do now is i am going to add some eyeliner to the bottom and pop on my lip so stay tuned look at your horn look at your horn look at your cheek oh look you was dead hmm? my seat hmm? Is the Vino liner? Hold on, baby. Don't color it. I do want to color it. I hold it. No, give mommy. Thank you. Bye, Jesse. So people always ask me how I do my lips. This is how I do them. 
I use Vino Lip Liner from MAC. And I'm going to use Lady Balls, which is a lot of women of color's go-to red lips. So let's see. So, yeah, I'm feeling this red lip. I'm feeling it. She is, she came through. Okay, she came through. She helped me out. So, I like this because I was going to take it back and get me the NARS. It's not Star Woman. I think it's Don't Stop, which is like listed as um geranium. So I don't like like I guess blue base. Like I used to love Ruby Woo. I used to love um I even have this Sephora one, which is zero one, but I don't like it. I just don't. And if you want to see the difference, I will swatch them so you can kind of see. And I think for like deeper skin tones, it's cool. It works. Like, I don't know. I just, for me, I like a red red. So, can you see the difference? So, yeah. So, it's the difference. But anywho, let me put some mascara on my bottom line. Okay, so I added liner. Well, not liner. I added eyelash. What, what the hell is mascara? I added mascara at the bottom. Um, uh, The red lip as I showed you guys. And, you know, this wig or whatever. Because I was been in my house for so many days. And I'm tired of giving a way by the water vibe and tease. So, this is the final look, and I think that it's just enough drama for the holidays and holidays part and holiday. I don't know why I can't talk in holiday parties, um, but it still has that classic red lip and that classic kind of vibe to it. You know, bad lashes and all. <laughs> I think it turned out really great. So, what do you guys? love as far as makeup during the holidays what are your staple products what are your staple staple looks um let me know down below in the comments and i think i'm going to do like another holiday inspired um look it won't be like with the red lip it'll be something more eye centered more eyeshadow centered but anyways sound off in the comments don't forget to like comment and subscribe join the china may china simone family um you can check me out all across the internet so whatever um thank you so much for watching love you guys Now how the hell I'm gonna go ahead and take this shit off? Nobody's gonna be. Oh.